today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Tennessee Titans. Again, everyone, with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. Now, losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Now come the Titans for their first possession, led by Ryan Tannehill in his 10th NFL season and third with Tennessee. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Play fake, and he'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Tannehill now to throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And the Jets will take over first and 10. And the Jets about set to go here on the offensive side for the first time. And leading him out, Charles, the number two overall pick in this April strap. It's Zach Wilson out of BYU. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about it being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, this defense for the Titans, they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And that's it, a former Titan, Corey Davis. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Corey Davis, of course, four years with these Tennessee Titans. They decided not to pick up his fifth-year option, so he left for the Jets. Even though he's coming off statistically his best season as a pro, just short of 1,000 yards on 65 catches in his final season with Tennessee. 
The numbers on the ground for Carter a week ago. 11 carries, 59 yards. Well, watching the film, we saw that things clicked pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change in my mind. Continue to try and run the football, give it to them early and often in hopes of breaking down the defense so that some bigger gains result as the game goes on. Play action. It's Wilson. Flush to his right. He will find the rookie from Ole Miss, Elijah Moore. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. I thought the Jets had a really impressive draft in 2021. They took quarterback Zach Wilson in two. Got line help with Elijah Vera Tucker after they traded with Minnesota at 14. And then went and grabbed this man, Elijah Moore from Ole Miss, with the second pick of round two. Plenty of targets to go around. A fairly thin receiving core now. And Elijah Moore, so explosive, picks up the first down. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Wilson. Throw right side complete to Carter. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we get everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Oh, it's a jet sweep. Here's Davis. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's the And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Michael Carter, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. the touchdown. Here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 22 carries, 69 yards, and a touchdown. And give him a ton of credit. He's running the ball really well. But I love it. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Ashton Davis showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So third and long after the sack. Tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Back to throw. He's got his 
tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A give to Henry. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain, but not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they wouldn't move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's got this down to the 35. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. And Derrick Henry with the ball in his hands. What a sight to behold because power and speed involved in every touch for him. Coming off another spectacular season with the Titans, he became the first since LaDainian Tomlinson in 2006 and 2007 to win two straight rushing titles, and he did it with style, too. Just the eighth man. And Henry's hit. He lost the football, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but... I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second and look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that challenge, a successful one. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The Titans on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Bullock's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 24. Well, that holding call 
will set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Eluding the pressure right. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they work this well up field across the 45. It's a big play that time by the Jets. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. It's a big play that time by the Jets. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Wilson now off the bootleg. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that. And you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. He takes us from the 30 to the 34. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. The left side completion to Jones. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. A first down carry for Henry. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. into a double team and it's intercepted picked off by the linebacker cj mosley and the return here is stopped at the 35 yard line so this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week that's a turnover they didn't have any but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter i love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated didn't see it last week but it's a key to their win and it'll be a key to this game as well protecting the football didn't get it done there. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. On second down, a run with Carter. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. There's Wilson to throw. Caught here by Griffin. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Flushed out right. Touchdown, Jets. It's complete. Jamison Crowder. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jets will extend their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Derrick Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there. Try to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. After the interception, here's Wilson. This one caught by Crowder. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now the and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Michael Carter as the first half is winding down. And the Jets would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. Extra point splits the uprights, and the round is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive as they go to work with 12 seconds on the clock. Off the option, here's Henry. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Tannehill on first down. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The final shot here before the break. Tannehill gets this to Ferkser, the tight end. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 39. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll start with two cities that evoke memories of the 1993 comeback, albeit with a different franchise this time around, but it's Houston at Buffalo. And it's the Bills who have the lead in that one. Josh Allen 
with three touchdown passes. From there, let's get to Philadelphia as we check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Chiefs. Miles Sanders, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And they've got the lead over the visiting Colts as that one's got a halftime. Miles Gaskin, a touchdown run in that first half. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the Jets set to receive this third-quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to take over here. And he's been effective in their winning, so it makes it a little easier to put a montage together. It really does, doesn't it? Because we can see him throwing it really well. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They'll run with Carter. And now Carter going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Over the middle complete. It's Griffin. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Second and 14. Throwing is Wilson. Out to the flat here for Johnson. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and it'll be Titan football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. On second down, it's Henry, and he'll get it down here to the 43. 
55 rushing yards, rushing on 12 carries for him now. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Derrick Henry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. This is Henry. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. I haven't been a defensive coordinator yet. The big second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. And he will have a Titans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. First down and much more for Henry. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. Well, it took a while to get their first touchdown of the game, but finally some signs of life here in quarter number three. Yeah, that was the burst they'd been lacking all throughout this game, but that was a decisive run. Might have caught the defense a little flat-footed because they hadn't been able to get going in this one, and he was able to take that one all the way to the end zone. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive, all told. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A good strong run there by Michael Carter, reminiscent of his days at North Carolina. A thousand yard rush for each of his last two years in Chapel Hill, despite being in a timeshare with Javante Williams, who was a second round pick of the Denver Broncos. Carter, the second pick of the fourth round out of UNC. He could be the Jets' leading rusher moving forward. On second down now, it's Carter. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. From the shotgun, Wilson. They'll roll him out right. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. We have played three quarters. And we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play action. Now Wilson. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. Not much there, only a yard. Second down, it's Carter. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Escaping the pressure right. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A whole lot of open space out in front of it, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom. He took advantage of it. The tackle by Janoris Jenkins. Coming up on second and seven. Now they hand off to Coleman. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. They will run again with Coleman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll go again with Carter. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The Jets on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. Tennessee offense set to go again. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Marcus May with a pick. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. On first and 10, it's Carter. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Carter once more. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 64 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. They'll run with Carter. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Wilson going to give to Carter on the draw. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish. Off. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Michael Carter with touchdown number three in the game and six on the year. And the Jets look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract after this win. And they're looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because... There are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Tannehill. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Tannehill. He completes it to Henry. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play that time for the Titans. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things. And that is caught. And they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. Just a four-play drive that time. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The rookie, Zach Wilson, in the Jet offense set to go to work once more. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Carter to start the drive. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Another tote for Carter. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And they'll indeed take a knee. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yep. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, Let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. So for the Jets, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, they'll